Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. If you date, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to you, Lord. And Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, now we are sure that you are possessed. Adam, Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died, or the prophets who died? Who do you think, who do you make yourself out to be? And Jesus answered, if I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my father who glorifies me on whom you say, He is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham your father rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? And Jesus said to him, said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, if we think there's smoke coming off of this Gospel, there is and quite a pointed discussion. Um, and Jesus, in one of those, you know, really rare moments, proclaims himself as the I Am, which is uh, really a shockwave to the Jews of that day, the people of that day. Um, and, you know, part of the question, I think, for us, and obviously, um, if, if we had been there, uh, would it have been much different? That becomes a question. But the real question, I think, for us is, is Jesus truly the I am of our lives? Is Jesus truly the one that is at the center and the heart of our lives? Uh, is he the one where all of our actions come from? Is he the one where all of our words come from? Is he the one that we look to for everything, for everything? Uh, I think each time I approach the, the Eucharist with that in mind, it is uh, really... Uh, a profound moment for us to say yes to the body of Christ and the blood of Christ. That amen, that yes, let it be so, uh, is enabling us to become one with him as his body and blood become one with our body and blood and spirit. Let's pray for that grace during this Eucharist.